Hi, it's Wendy Ray, and I'm so happy that you joined me for my idol recap. Well, we have finally reached the first results episode of season nine, which means we got to see the first group performance. Now, if you're like me, you watch the group performance only to see those contestants that are very awkward moving around on stage, which we got to see last night. I will tell you, I was proud of Crystal Bowersocks because I thought she'd be one of those contestants that was not really into the group performance, but she was singing, she was smiling, she was dancing. I was really proud of Crystal, and I think she did a great job. They also had two guest stars. They had Chris Allison, Chris Allison, Chris Allen, and Allison Irohita. And um, I'm telling you, Allison has the most ridiculous vocals. She's amazing. I wasn't really excited about the song she sang. It was her new single. Um, however, she could sing anything and make it sound good. And I thought she did an excellent job. And I even think she looked absolutely beautiful, even with that peacock thing going off her dress last night. But she looked great. And then Chris, you know, you just got to love this kid. He is absolutely adorable. His song was just touching when they were showing the slideshow of him in Haiti. I, I loved the whole thing. I went and I downloaded it, and I hope that you do too, because not only are you going to be getting some good music, but you're also going to help a company that really does need you. So that's enough of my uh, public service announcement. Let's move on to the results. So the girls went first, and it wasn't really a huge surprise for me. I told you that I thought Janelle and Ashley were both in trouble. I just was surprised that it was both of them. I kind of thought it would be either one or the other. So when they brought Janelle up, and it was Janelle and Katie, uh, there was no doubt in my mind that Janelle was going home. Katie's just too good to leave at this point of the competition. And um, I thought Janelle did a pretty good job with her uh, exit song. Actually, I thought she did better than she did Tuesday night. Then they came to Ashley and Dee Dee, and of course I was nervous as can be because of my son's love for Dee Dee, and I thought, oh, this is going to be horrible. He's going to get home from swim team, and uh, our life is going to be miserable because Dee Dee's gone, because I really couldn't believe that Ashley and Janelle were both going, but Dee Dee got to stay, thank goodness, for just the harmony in my household. And poor Ashley had to go. Um, and I thought Ashley was kind of uncomfortable with the, do you want to say anything? And she was like, I just want to sing. I thought that was a little bit weird for her. I feel really bad for them because, to be honest with you, this season, there's not any girls that I dislike. I, I like them all. Uh, if I had to choose, it'd probably be Lily. But Lily is such an excellent singer that I don't want to see her go. So I, it's really every week it's going to be hard to say goodbye to one of those girls. I will tell you that Haley and Lacey are going to have to pick it up. Um, I was shocked that Haley stayed in the competition, but she's really likable and very cute, and that's probably why she stayed. But she's going to have to pick up her vocals, and Lacey's going to have to get a hold of her nerves uh, next week to, to stay in the competition. All right, the boys. A lot more shocked about the boys, to be honest with you. Now, I will remind you, I told you who I thought was in trouble was Joe, and I thought was going home would be Jermaine and Tim. Now, if I had to choose... I would have said that Joe, it would have been Joe and Tim. I never thought in a million years that Tim would stay. I told you yesterday that I thought if he stayed, it was because of all those little teeny boppers texting for two hours. And I guess that's what kept him in the competition because he's so precious and darling. But Joe is out instead of Tim. And that's really heartbreaking because he is only gone because we didn't get to see him. We didn't get to meet him until the final round of Hollywood. And that's really heartbreaking to me because I like him and I think that he has a really great voice and I feel really bad for him. Tim, you are going to have to pick it up next week. He needs to see some vocal coaches. Uh, he needs to work on those vocals to get them up to at least close to some of the other contestants. His good looks are not going to take him all the way through the end, so he's going to have to show us some talent as well. Now, then they show Alex and Tyler. These are the last two. And I am shaking in my boots. Well, I really didn't have boots on, but I was shaking because, you know, I love Alex. I think this kid is so talented and he's got so much potential. And I was not ready to see him go. And I was really nervous. So I was happy that he's the one that stayed. However, I was a little bit bummed about Tyler. You know, I like that 70s throwback stuff. I know that I'm probably one of the only people in America that still does. I'm, you know, a very big minority but I really liked it, and I kind of wanted to watch him a little more. His vocals aren't really that great, but he's fun to watch, and so I was a little disappointed that he was leaving. I love them show, showing them showing him with his robe on and his boots and his socks. I thought that was hysterical. Uh, very cute clip of that, and I'm glad that they did that because now he's gone, so we're not going to get to see anything else. They interviewed some of the uh, contestants leaving this morning on my local news, and they said that Tyler was really funny and that uh, of, of all the people, he was the, the comedian, so they're probably going to be missing that. 
as well. I will tell you, I was a little bit disturbed with Tyler and his uh, throwing the judges under the bus uh, as the reason that he was leaving because they hadn't given him enough criticism in Hollywood Week. You know, I, I'm just not sure that was appropriate or appropriate time to say that. You can feel that, but on live TV, I'm thinking that was a little bit weird. So anyway, we had to say goodbye to four. We are now down to 20, which we get to see next week. Now, I'm expecting that the performances will be a little bit better next week. You know, the very first week, some of these kids, it's the very first time that they've gotten up in front of more than, you know, 20, 40 people. And not to mention, they've got millions of people watching at home. During the audition portion and the Hollywood week, they don't know if they're going to make it on TV. And basically, they are just singing for four judges. But now they are singing for America. And that has got to be hard. So I kind of try to cut them a little bit of slack in these early weeks because they have got to have some nerves. But I, I think that as we progress... It's going to get better and better every week. I'm really looking forward to next week seeing our top 20, top 10 girls, top 10 boys, and seeing how they do and how my favorites do. I'd like to know, again, who your favorites are. Please leave me some comments and let me know. I hope that you have a great weekend. I'm excited about next week, and I will see you then. Hugs and make it a great day. Bye-bye.